Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at a planner slash teacher planner and you'll see why I say that both ways here in just a minute. Okay, so you do need to know that this was sent to me for free for review. The company Teach for the Heart reached out to me and asked if I wanted to review one of these planners. I did take a look at the website before I agreed to um, receive this, just to see if it was something that I would personally purchase or use, and I wanted to give it a go. So a little bit of background, I've been in the education system for 17 years now. I was a special ed teacher at the high school level and now I am a special ed administrator and every year I purchase a planner of some sort to use and this one intrigued me. So this is a Christian based company which was one of the reasons that I was intrigued because you'll see inside this planner some of those faith based elements will show up and then the planner is actually called Pray and Plan. This is an eight and a half by 11. It is on a white plastic coil. I have had planners on plastic coils before and they don't bother me. So um, you need to know that as well. This cover is coiled on, but you could take your scissors, snip it, and then it would be removable. When you open it up, you'll see right away your cover page and then some beautiful really hefty tabs here they're not going to be hard to find so first page pray and plan by teach for the heart you have room for your name email school room and other important information and then you have kind of a how-to um, situation here in the front so I am not going to take the time to read all of these out for you, but it does go over all of the specs of this planner, like all the little sections that you could use and how they recommend that you use those. Um, so there's that, you can pause and read if you so choose to do so. And then you turn to your 23, 24, monthly overview. This is a July start planner and you get 12 months. And then on the right hand side, you have room for your schedule. Now the pages of this are a bright white, nice paper, and you'll see kind of this gray print decoration uh, make its way on to a lot of the pages. So you do have your schedule here for teaching and other responsibilities down here on the bottom. I like that on the back of this, they didn't just leave it white. Um, since this is a faith-based, Christian-based company, they use the space for a scripture, for nothing will be impossible with God, Luke 1, 37. Now your tab pages, um, you kind of have like an ombre effect with a yellow to peach, and then you go into some purples here with some darker plum into kind of a lighter purple into blue and then kind of a very maybe tan tan yellow pinks and peaches for the other tabs and each of your tabbed pages um, are kind of a laminate material. They say the month, again, a little bit of artwork, and then they do have this Pray and Plan logo by Teach for the Heart on the bottom right of every tabbed page. And then across from this tab page is always a different quote. So let's just go ahead and flip through so you can see the different scriptures on the left and then what the beautiful colored tab pages look like on the right. Okay, now that we have went through all of those, let me flip back 
to the very first month and show you what your planning pages are going to look like as they repeat throughout this book. So when you turn your tabbed page, the back of the tab page is blank and I'm okay with that because it's kind of like a plum paper planner where this is a different material and you would have to have a special ink pen or a marker to write on it. So you could put stickers, um, pictures, decorations, whatever on this if you wanted to, but I don't mind that they left that blank. And then you do not open up to your monthly calendar. You actually have this monthly reflection page so this is looking back for June and then ahead to July. So this is the first tab that starts with July. So again, reflect on June, look ahead to July. They give you some little prompts. What are you most thankful for? What didn't go well and what you will do differently next time? What did you spend too little or too much time on? And then looking ahead, what's most important to you this month? What's one thing you need to stop doing or let go of? What should you pray for or connect with this month? And then we have your tame your to-do list and they use this 4T system. So one, write everything down that is on your plate and then start marking each task as trash, trim, transfer, or treasure. Trash, just stop doing it. Trim, do it less often. Transfer, delegate it, treasure, prioritize it. And you can find out more about their 4T system at this website down here. Then when you turn your page, you do get your two page spread monthly view. Again, the white background with a little bit of decoration at the top. You do have the month title on the top left with the next two months. So if this is July, obviously you have August and September. You have room for a memory verse, ample room over here for a um, to-do list or however you wanna use your notes section on this page. Sorry, I'm picking something off the paper there. And then you do have a Sunday start calendar with ample room on your calendar boxes with some very basic holidays printed on the calendar page. Then you turn your page and you have a two column notes page on both sides. You have a quote at the top and then you have monthly free resources. You can scan this QR code at the top. So as we move on to this, I do need to note that you have a couple of different options here. So this comes as far as I can see on all of their planners, and then you can choose to add lesson plan pages, which I did not do. Um, if I can find a picture of just the lesson plan pages, I'll put it up here for you to see on the screen. Um, the reason I did not add the lesson plan pages is that with my current position as a special ed coordinator, I really don't need a traditional lesson plan page because I'm not in the classroom right now. However, I do appreciate this weekly view um, where I can plan out my week for work. So let's dive in to these weekly pages. It is dated with a Monday start and most of the room here is horizontal for Monday through Friday. And then I do like that they include Saturday and Sunday, even though it's kind of a different layout here um, with the vertical boxes, because as a teacher, a lot of times we still have things going on. Um, if we're volunteering for games on Saturdays, tournaments, and then any prep work that we have to do or go in for on Sunday. You also have the current month and the next upcoming month up here on the top. You have another scripture with some of that design element, a note section, a room just for prayer, a to-do list, a daily habits, and then um, a plan at your work time. So we have a go button, a stop button, and a home button and you can see here that you could um, track maybe your hours or however you needed to do that on the week view. So this starts with July, Monday the 3rd, and you're gonna get 
that same layout with the exception of your scripture changing up here on the top. And you'll get that for the entire month. And then we are at the end of July. So that's what the pages look like as you go throughout this planner. That um, layout or format is going to repeat. And I like also that on this prayer box, they have kind of a prompt for you and it changes each week. So just as an example for the week of August 7th, your prompt for prayer is praise God for a specific way he has been working in your life. And then the next week that changes to cast your burdens on the Lord and ask him to help for whatever you are needing. So I like that, different prompts. So let's go past all of these weekly pages. Again, I did not add the lesson plan pages, but that is an option if you need those. And my last month here is June. And then we go in to another tabbed section, which is titled Logs. So this first log is your student checklist. This is like a traditional gradebook layout where you can write the students' names and then the assignments and put their grade or their score. You get 21 this would be page 20, 21 pages of student checklists. And then you go into your communication log. It does have room for the date, the student, the reason for the contact, and the resolution. And you get a two-page spread of that, another two-page spread, and then you are in to your notes section. These do have a break in the middle. So again, a two column notes page on the left and a two column notes page on the right. And you get a couple of that, um, a couple of that type of notes page. And then you do get a dot grid, which is really handy if you're having like seating arrangements or anything that you wanna draw out. And you get a sheet of those and then one on the back. And then this planner does come with a pocket folder. It is just white. It's heavy cardstock, so I think it will hold up just fine. It is single-sided, so you have the pocket here on this side, and then just a plain backing on the back. And then we are at the end of that planner. So I am highly considering using this um, as my planner for school this year. I was also sent a planner by a couple of other companies, but I just really like, um, well, one, as a coordinator, most of my work done is on this monthly view, and I really like that we have these big planning boxes. I like that I can see the next couple months coming up, and I really enjoy um, tracking our open files, our annuals, our referrals, our triennials, all of those due dates that we have to meet to stay in compliance. I usually need room for those. And then, like I said, I don't really need a lesson plan page, but I do need a weekly space for me to see my week at a glance and have all of my IEP meetings and evaluations um, scheduled for the week. And again, I like the minimal space for the weekend because I do still have to do things on the weekend. And um, being a Christian prayer is part of my daily life. And a lot of that is, um, of course, confidential, but I pray for my students and coworkers on the daily. And it might be nice if I can keep this confidential and not out on my desk. I might actually list those prayers here in this box. Obviously, always need a notes and to-do section. And there are some things that I like to do in the office as daily habits. So that would be helpful. And planning my work time. Hmm. Yeah, need to do that probably. That intrigues me. That might be um, something that helps me be personally more productive in my work time during school hours. So that's why I'm considering using this. If I do, I'll let you know how it goes. Um, again, I can't always show a lot of the stuff because it's confidential, 
but I wanted to share with you guys why I was considering this option. Let me know what you think about this planner. I think it has a lot to offer for teachers, homeschoolers, even for home. If you just need a weekly view and no lesson plan pages, you could totally um, use that that way just for a home planner. That's another idea. I could just use it for home and not for work. Why am I like this? Why? So I, anyway, I really do like that there's options for this planner. Let me know what you think. Thanks for hanging out with me for another planner review. Make sure that you check out um, Teach for the Heart on their website and look at their different options. Let me know if you have questions. Bye, friends.